it's another absolutely stunning day here today in the South Wales Valleys. Well, my house has a for sale sign on it at the moment. That's a bit scary, isn't it? That happened very, very, very quickly indeed. By the time I got back from my gig the other night, it was there. Um, anyway, today is another busy day. I have another gig today. It's in Llangranog, so let's go. Traffic. She's just totally ignoring me. Headphones in. She's used to it. So basically, we're off to a friend's house now. We're going to have some food and then rehearse for a couple of hours and then head down to the beach where we're playing. But oh, we're nearly there, yeah? 16 miles. Nearly there now. The audio's nose dived dramatically. We're now trying to learn stuff off MIDI files. Apologies. <laughs> some hours later now it is absolutely roasting hot I'm like burning okay, myself on this okay. seat belt here we've had something to eat we've rehearsed and now we're off to the beach where the gig is yeah having some traffic issues here it's a very small place with lots of traffic trying to come to it at the moment much further down now but it's still gridlocked oh, no, we're going up here I think we're lost. We're supposed to be sound checking in 21 minutes. That far up, but there aren't any spaces. Well, there is if I do something with that. It appears to be tents parked in car parking spaces. Okay, we've managed to park the car. We've got a bit of a right. steep walk down to the seafront now. Right. How are you, Greg? A little bit of a walk. There's a little procession of us now going down with various instruments and equipment. There's a double bass ahead, but I don't think he wants to be in the vlog, so I won't film him. How are you doing, Izzy? Good. It's actually chillier here. A load of mist just rolled in from the sea, but to be honest, it might make it a bit easier to do the gig if we're not roasting alive. There's the band that's on before us on this stage. Uh, my guy on this really a band's a uh, scuba diver uh, in Iceland of a man in the Hondi Sofra. So this area we're in is a predominantly Welsh speaking area at the moment. Uh, that's the stage we're going to be playing on in a bit. We're going to go and do some sound checking in about 10 minutes. This festival is called the Norlam Line Festival, which means the back and forth festival. It's called that because basically there are two venues, it's that one and this one. And while one band is playing the, on one stage, the other band is setting up and getting ready on the other. And they alternate, so the audience goes back and forth, Norlam Line. You see? And that's why it's called that. Izzy's gone off for a walk. She's gone to explore the beach. It's one of the good things about being a child of a musician. You do get to explore new places. I have heard that there's no crime at all in San Granog. I've been here a few times before, usually gigging as well. I've done a few vlogs about that in the past, I could link them at the end of the video maybe. If you want a better tour than you're getting today, because it's a bit of a quick in, do a gig, get out day to day. So that's that one finished now, so we're going to sound check, and presumably that lot are going to go over there and watch the other band while we're setting up in peace. We've sound checked and set up. The mist is coming in, look at that, I mean it's definitely 
definitely cooling down. I'm just taking a minute to peep at these people in this tent, see what they're doing. Try not to get too distracted. Look at that mist. You can barely see that building up there. Okay, we've finished that. Now we're having to climb up the hill with all the gear, which is a little bit more awkward than climbing down it. There we are. We okay. made it up the hill. You should see this mist now. It looks like smoke. Look at this. It's like rolling in off the sea. We're off to get fish and chips now, aren't we, Dan? Scods are scloods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Or should it be scods are chips? Because if you say scod, oh. you know, scod, you on our first scod. I thought it was piscothi or sclothi on. Piscod, if it's first, but if it comes after and, it's a mutation, and it's first scod. Oh, <laughs> so I'll go for. So say it round the other. Say piscod as on and then you haven't got to worry about the mutation. Okay. Yeah, sclodi on is chips, by the way. Yes, yeah, so I need that sclods, yes. Yeah. You can literally see the little tiny droplets, it's really weird. I've hooked up with Izzy, she's been helping with selling some t-shirts today. How did you find it Izzy? It was difficult because nobody wanted them. What? Nobody wanted to buy our t-shirts? <sighs> so we're all starving now. It's definitely filled out since I had the camera out earlier. Getting more and more crowded, more and more noisy. Try and find something to eat. There's an immense queue in the fish and chip shop. The invisible boyfriend is being given maths questions to stop him from going insane again. Uh, it wasn't so bad, was it, Izzy? That wasn't the queue queue. They were all they had ordered and they were all waiting for their stuff to be ready. So 20 minutes for our chips. Is that how long we've got to wait? Yeah. 20 minutes. Well, me and Izzy are off to try and buy some bottles of pop. Those uh, ladies were just trying to uh, video bomb from the other side of the lens. It was uh, interesting. <laughs> so we're going to go to the shop, see if we can get some drink. Still waiting for the chips. It's been quite a while. I'm having to sit down, taking the weight off my feet. Is he's wasting away. Just starving. The chips and fish are here, and to my great delight, I've just found these two empty benches right by the uh, lifeguard station here. Starving. I'm gonna tuck right into this. Okay now. Here's Izzy. You've got over your hangry attack, have you? Uh -huh. I've already eaten two chips and burned my tongue, but I don't care. Oh, go easy on them. Don't burn that lovely tongue of yours. It's already is burned. Need it for all that, that witty banter. Witty banter. This is my view here, my picnic view. That crag there, all shrouded in mist. Looks quite mysterious. Oh, oh no. I know. I think there's somebody paddle boarding out there as well. I can't actually see my monitor screen because it's so bright. Do you know, it's looking so misty at that. It reminds me of the fog, that film where all the monsters come out of the fog and they maraud in the village at night. Tap on window panes with a big staff. And if you hear that tapping, you know you've had it. How are those chips, Izzy? I'm so good. Oh. Well, this is very pleasant sitting here. Pretty nice place for a chippy picnic. I'm starting to feel pretty full though, I'm never going to finish it all. I think my eyes were bigger than my belly. I've offloaded a load to the boys there, they're uh, hungrier than me. Time to go home now, climbing back up the hill again to the car. So it's goodbye to a hazy Norlam Line festival at Flamgranog. Here's something you might not know. If you see a D like that on somebody's car in Wales, it means they're a learner. It's short for just score. More and more people are going down the hill towards the festival now. The evening shift, I suppose. Nice bit of bird poo on the window there. It's come out lovely on the zoom. Oh, oh. Goodness, we're coming to the services and I'm busting for a wee. <laughs> Legs have gone to sleep.
Oh no, Isabel's come out and seen stuff. Come on, love. Let's go. No. Oh my word, that is really soft. So we still need to go. Okay. <laughs> Homeward bound. About another hour to go, I think, now. Okay. We're tired now. Well, we and the band are tired. <laughs> Mummy! What? Isabel is pointing out that she's almost found her name. It's a, 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 a ball. <laughs> almost. It's a ball. But, yeah, that's not quite what it is, really. She's still got plenty of energy. I'm contemplating going home and pulling things off my walls and doing more decluttering, but I am quite tired, I must admit. I wonder what the time is. Left my phone in the car. I'm in the back. Is my phone in there? Yeah, it's here. Good. I put it under this thing so nobody can see it. Dan's taken over the driving for a bit now. And we're back home! Isabel's complaining that her legs have gone to sleep because <laughs> it was quite a long journey. It's about quarter past nine now in the evening. We are both shattered to be honest so I'm going to end the vlog there. Thank you so much for coming along with us today to Llangranog. Don't forget to give the video a like if you liked it because it really helps this channel to grow. If you have any thoughts feel free to comment them down below. I love reading the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more adventures with Imo and Izzy. <laughs>